Alright, it's a new day. It's late in the new day. Uh, I'm trying something new. Just hand holding my little camera. See how that works out. The microphone, there's no microphone or nothing on it. <laughs> I just want to see how it sounds. I am in the combine. We're about to go do some corn at the home place that we had to quit on yesterday because of the uh, bin system wasn't working. Brand new one, you know. Uh, I don't know if this will be a new video or well, the same video as that. <laughs> we'll find out. But the crew is here working on it right now. They think they got the problem solved, so we feel safe enough to continue on. So that's what I'm going to do. And I uh, sh haven't showed you yet how the inside of the, how it works, I guess, the corn. <laughs> I haven't showed you the combine, combining corn. Okay, so I started my first round, but the GoPro had no juice in it. Oh god, dang no GoPro will work. But the combine paint lines, everything seems to be working okay. GPS stuff, all the goodies, they're working. How's the camera look? Is it okay? My uh that one. I forgot to put a battery in it, and I don't have any extras because I was charging them all today. So I'm having battery problems. But, got my handy dandy little, little point and shoot with me. So basically I'm just going to combine until we get two sets of wagons full. And each, each wagon holds 600 bushels of corn. So it'll be uh, 2,400 bushels that I'll combine total. Um, all I gotta do is keep an eye on my bushel counter right there. I'm at two, uh, 232 right now. So we got a little ways to go. Grandpa's running the grain cart. Zoom in on him. There we go, it's your time to shine, Grandpa. Remember what I told you uh, a little earlier, how there's a male and a female part of the plant, and the male part is at the top called the tassel. Well, I noticed this earlier this year that some of these uh, are a little bizarre. Uh, I'll see if I can find one for you and show you. Where are you? So what's happening, and I don't understand why, oh man, some really good ones right in front of me now. God dang it. I don't understand what's happening or why, but what it is, is where the tassel is supposed to be, it's growing an ear of corn. So it has an ear of corn where it's supposed to be, and then it grows another one where the tassel is supposed to be. Any agronomists out there know what the heck that is? Because that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. And there's a lot of them. It's like we got a couple bags of Alabama corn. Sorry if you're from Alabama and I just uh, made fun of you at your expense. Red jokes are funny. So I just got the call on the radio that the crew working on the bin site we couldn't get it fixed so we have to quit once we fill all of our wagons up so i don't know what's going on there i just know it doesn't work so i'm having troubles counting my rows so i'm going to have to run outside and count oh you probably have no idea what counting rows is so i have to go out and count every eight rows and uh it matches with the planter which has 16 Uh, so I have to go out and count uh, 16 rows out, so that way when I combine it all matches up. Look at that. I don't think I can get much more than uh, 
but I just got that. <laughs> She's jet full. But we are done for the night. Uh, it's 5, 5.11 and we have to quit because everything's full. Look at them all. <laughs> corn, corn, corn. Uh, close up. So I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Just getting going for the day. Uh, we got that transfer, I shouldn't say we, the crew got that transfer system going and uh, hopefully actually functioning well. So it's actually like 1240, almost one o'clock that we were waiting around. We can't, we, you know, we couldn't uh, unload any corn in it until we knew it would work. So we just been waiting around watching these guys do their thing. Okay, I just gotta get all the electronic crap set up. Um, cab. Ma'am. Continue here. We good. I think this is ready to rock. Okay. That's not smoke, that's dust. <laughs> recording like everything is going good that's all I needed to do so I got a long day of this ahead of me I'm going to do a need to know basis today with my filming so if anything uh, breaks down or whatever I'll be sure to film it but I had a, a buddy of mine passed away um, unexpectedly uh, he got hit on his bicycle and so it's kind of a he was a musician and uh, he, he liked the blues. He liked to play the blues. And so I'm going to use some of his music in this video. And in the future, too, I was talking to him about using it just with all my videos, but I was just trying to figure out how to get the files into like my editing software. Alright, I'll let you know if anything bad happens. How to tell someone you went to public school without saying you went to public school. that joke went over your head because I couldn't count to eight. Today I'm in charge of unloading wagons. So I'm just sitting here watching the corn flow. Just making sure nothing happens there, there, <laughs> I was off. And uh, making sure that this new um, unload system is still functioning properly. I was freaking walking. I was getting out of the tractor just a little bit ago and fell out of it again. <laughs> but I had my drone in my hand and I fell in a freaking hole right here. Rolled my ankle on the cement slab. Oh, it hurt. But I gotta go haul another empty set of wagons out to the field now. Just gotta shake it off. But the only thing you gotta make sure here is um, at the end of dumping is make sure you pull the auger out of the way. The swing hopper. We don't run it over. Ooh, yeah, one time I put these uh, Belberries out with the combine actually, and then I pulled the pin, <laughs> took off, and the wagon started slowly rolling and smoked our four wheel drive, the big tractor, and the tongue went right into the tire and punctured it. I was like, that might have been my first year ever farming too. <laughs> I had a lot of accidents that year. So we got pretty much everything done at our home place. So I have to take this set of wagons to another farm, which is just it's over yonder.
gotta make sure people don't pass you. So now I just gotta find somewhere to put these things. I think that'll be okay. Just gotta make sure they don't run down a hill. forgot to hook everything up because we weren't using any I didn't have to use lights or anything when we we're just on our farm <laughs> whoops that's only gonna happen once what do you think Walker after I fell I did end up getting my drone shots and now the winds like 25 mile an hour it's a pretty windy day so I lucked out there well, if feet are your thing, and you owe me 20 bucks, but I just wanted to show everyone. Ankle bone. No, ankle bone. Bitch, wanted. Also realized I got my sock inside out. <laughs> Must have been a rough morning. Well, it's the end of the night. We just gotta unload this one set of wagons and head home. And I get tomorrow off, Sunday. Woo woo, see you guys next time. Good morning, happy Monday, and happy Christopher Columbus Day. That's today. We don't recognize it as a holiday, so I'm at work. <laughs> but, started off the morning, not rough, but not great. Uh, we need to haul with our semis today, and uh, by the end of the day. Well, we started driving the both the trucks down the road to get them parked and ready for later, and then this one, uh, didn't have any brake lights So I crawled underneath it was kind of like flickering so I was like ground Fixed the ground and it was bad, but it didn't fix anything now I got to go through and see if there's another ground or if it's an electrical issue So that's what I'm doing first thing in the morning. I think my next step is going to be I'm gonna clean the contacts on the um, the electrical plugs and then see if there's grounds behind those plugs so that's my next step this is an electric contact cleaner and then I'll just do the other side here So since it's just me here, I almost need like a brick or something heavy to put on the, this might do it, maybe, I'll try it. I need to put it on the brake pedal so that way I can walk to the back and see if there's brake lights. I had to do this with a camper too. Wedge it in there, maybe. That might be enough. Nothing. Okay, I got a better brick. A lot heavier. I'm also gonna turn the key on, just so I'm not wasting my time. I should do it. Well. They're on. Let me check the blinkers. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is if it's still a, you know, electrical problem. That's yeah, working. If it's still like a loose wire or something, it'll go back out. That's the problem. I don't know. They're working pretty good though. Okay, let me try all the lights. Oh, they're all on. They were really dim too before, so they're pretty bright. It's not necessarily safe to say it's fixed, but it's better than it was. Still saves a service call. 
for now. Got my first full load of corn, ready to go back in the bin. I kind of forgot what I needed to do. Oh yeah, I have to turn all this stuff on. brain there because I was like I want to film something and then I started doing that and I forgot what I was doing it because I had something I did a little thing I'm really excited about I will show you in a second it's about the camper though okay it to get the cricket. I'll show you what I was talking about. So I just got back from running to the auto parts store. And this is a box which contains my manifolds, properly resurfaced. Looks like we got some gunk in there. Yeah, they're nice and shiny. Uh, there's some pits in it though, but... I got gaskets, so it should be all right. This one looks really good. Just gotta clean them up a little bit. It ended up costing me $111. So, well, the good news is, now that these are back, I can finally get some stuff done. I just wanted to show you, so you can look forward to a camper video very soon. I wanna hopefully get on it right away and get that thing running. So we finally filled up those two bins we've been working on for a while. Um, I gotta take the semi now to the field because we're gonna start hauling to town. That was a lucky shot. Got my dang hand in the way. go fill up my truck for here and then once that's full I'll haul it in so we've actually been uh, going all day and this is all we have left <laughs> if you can see back there I've only got a little dab in my truck I haven't had to haul anything to town yet uh, grandpa's been keeping up with just his okay finally getting her filled and there's just one round left over here and we'll be done with this field, I should say. Okay, it's time to haul this bad boy to town. That'll do. Look out, buddy. Right 
front of me is the line to dump into the pit. So keep in mind, when this place got hacked, they weren't able to use any of their computers, so they weren't able to unload or run their pit system because that's all electronically done. And they weren't able to use any of their computers to make any sales, so you wouldn't, weren't able to like check the market price or know what their market price was. And uh, no one was able to sell anything. Some people had contracts that needed sold and then it was up in the air and no one knew what the heck was going on. Kind of chaos. Uh, it's been about a month since this has been going on now. So now they've got it kind of figured out a little bit. For this, I got a toggle right here runs the up and down for the unload and then I just watch for hand signals out here I hate when they're not very good at giving hand signals like this guy just told me to raise it and then he just walks away like, do I keep going <laughs> one time I was raising it up and they had me too far forward and I uh, hit their garage door <laughs> it wasn't my fault though they told me to keep going and I can't see what you looking at there, dude? You look unpleased. <laughs> so basically now I'm just going on to the uh, scale again. And then I just gotta wait for them to signal me till they're ready. These are our new paper tickets that tell us our bushels. They used to be uh, printed off like outside. You wouldn't even have to leave the cab. Then you just grab it and go. So now I'm just heading back to Walker. So now that I'm back, I just gotta run over to the grain cart. Catch the combine before it overfills. Come on, buddy.